video, I'm going to show you how Level Maker uh, can work very easily with pieces that are designed to be parts of walls and fences and such. <clears throat> what we'll start off by doing is placing a, a gate in the scene, and then we'll switch to a, uh, to a smaller fence section, and then just kind of drag that out. Now, <clears throat> these, these pieces don't have any connectors, so we're just using the basic mode here. Now, when we get down here, there's only one piece, and when it's inst instantiated in the scene, it, it's aligned along the z-axis. So what Level Maker has is some options here for, uh, these options are really designed for, you know, fence pieces. These would not work for the corridor pieces shown in the previous video. But we can uh, rotate uh, counterclockwise. <coughs> and if you notice, over here in the panel, it says rotate, rotate center on the end or to the side. So depending on how your pieces are designed, they might look better on the side like that or on the end. In this case, it looks like we're going to want to rotate to the side. That gives it a better look in alignment. <clears throat> so we can continue to just click and drag. Drag this out. We'll do another rotate. Let's see, it looks like we have about five, so one more. And in order to make these line back up, we'll need to put another uh, big, uh, big gate in. So we'll drag that in and then switch back to the, uh, to the smaller fence pieces. Now we'll come down here, rotate again. So it looks like we did three. One, two, three. And then one to make the turn. Now I'll rotate that. And it should have perfect alignment. So these tools right here in the uh, Level Maker toolbar, the uh, Rotate, again, those are really only going to work for walls and fencing and that sort of thing. But they do allow you to quickly put these up so you don't have to go through and, and create connectors for all your pieces. Now, one of the advantages to Level Maker um, is it's, it's, it's data driven. So, what we can do here is now that we've created this little thing, we can go in here and remove the scripts. So, these pieces now are part of the scene and they've basically been removed from Level Maker. Now, so we can, can move them over there. Now, if we go back to the Level Maker level, those pieces are still where they were, they're just not in the scene. So, we can instantiate the level and they're back there. So, you can use a level to basically be pieces of a level, like a small section of buildings, a type of fence, <clears throat> and then you can spawn those into the scene, and uh, you can take, uh, see these are the ones that have been removed. If I were to take and move these pieces, they're still tied to the level, so any changes to them will be reflected in the actual level. So if we go over to these pieces that, are, that have been, had their scripts removed and dereferenced, we can go over here and let's see. Uh, looks like I'm not going to get a good selection on those, but let's see. There we go. And so I can oh, do that. Well, in any event, you, you get the, the picture. You, they, these become a uh, individual scene objects, not tied to Level Maker. Now, one of the advantages to Level Maker is you're making these levels. You can come over here, and uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and. Uh, It looks like this version of Level Maker doesn't have the clear level piece uh, button uh, just put in. So we'll have to remove these pieces maybe a little bit. There is currently a button in that lets you clear the entire level. But uh, we'll just go ahead and do it this way. So now, as you can see, the pieces are still on the level. If I go over here to Level and click Instantiate, nothing goes in. And I can go over here and delete uh, these pieces as well. Now, we can come over here to the Placement tab and left-click to uh, spawn in a... Uh, Spawn it up. Let's see. We'll choose fence three. Spawn that in. And now the neat thing is we can go over here and in the rotation, we can give this a rotation. And when we drag that, <coughs> Level Maker knows to, uh, it will actually work with rotation. So it doesn't have to be grid aligned. So we can do all this. And I'm not sure I did the rotate the same direction on both of them. So this might not line up. But. So there you go. So you see we have a non-grid aligned. And um, this works, you know, pretty much in any dimension. You can rotate it that way. You can come out here to this piece and uh, you know, do any sort of rotation. And Level Maker will allow you to uh, basically whoop, drag the transform instead of the arrow. 
And let's see. I rotated that one way and then drove the opposite direction. So here you can see we can, uh, we can orient pieces in any direction, and Level Maker will allow us to click and drag them. So this is a, an example of how you would uh, you can conceivably use kind of the fence mode pieces to quickly and easily make fences, walls, and, and that sort of thing.